Hey guys, Lloyd Grax from Control Alt Record back again with episode 4, Star Citizen Alpha 3.0. Unfortunately it's been a while since my last Star Citizen video. I actually had two other episodes recorded and edited, but disaster struck and my storage hard drive died, which resulted in the loss of all my video and audio recordings. A little annoying, but what do you do? Shit happens. Lesson learnt there, always back your stuff up. Anywho, back now and in this episode, we're going to take a look at Levski continuing with our shopping theme have a look around the Grand Bazaar and maybe even purchase some weapons I hope you all enjoy the episode and if you do please remember to give the like button an uppercut subscribe to the channel tell your friends tell your mom and leave any questions or comments in the area below and if you're interested in supporting Star Citizen's development and becoming a backer please check the video description for my referral code which will give you 5,000 bonus in-game credits when you sign up to the website let's get into it Ah uh, yes, and we've got our crime stat rating too from our little landing mishap the other day. So hopefully we can get out to Levski without too much issues, although that's not good. What the hell? Right. Far out, man. This station is a proud member of the Ship Share program, encouraging travelers to stay refueled and fly together. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. A2. What is up with the camera? Let me see if that makes any difference. All right. Right, well, looks like we're not going to be taking the Stalker. Let us go pick another ship. You know, Alpha and all that jazz. Happens every now and then. It's a little annoying, but... What can you do? We'll run a claim on that. Yes, file a claim. Pay expedited fee. Thank you. Alright, um, right, let's take the cutlass then. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Hopefully this one's fully intact. Otherwise this could be a real short video. Is the Avenger still there? No, oh, no, it's gone. Sometimes they don't disappear right away when you make a claim. So would have been interesting if it was still there. Well, the good news is, the cutty's got doors, so that's always a good start. The 
next challenge will be to see if we can take off without sticking to the landing pad. Hello. Your systems are online. Oh, thank you. So. Oh, right out. That's good. It worked. Let's go to Levski, please. All the way out there at Delamar. Really looking forward to the next patch to see the improvements with this Moby Glass system. Sometimes it's really hard to read at the moment, um, depending on what background's behind it. So hopefully that uh, that's one of the things that was scheduled to be fixed in the next update. So really looking forward to that. Uh, let's take some quantum jumpage and see how many times we get interdicted. So far, so good. Does look really cool, doesn't it? Up, oh, here we go. Interdiction time. Hello, Jeffrey Allensworth. Caterpillar? Come on, man. Are you serious? Have you got any buddies? No? Okay. You would think Caterpillar would probably have an escort before he uh, interdicts someone and attack them. Unless it's a setup and they're going to spawn in in a minute. Kind of boring, in it, really. Thanks for coming, buddy. Look at all that cargo, eh? Too bad I'm not here for cargo at the moment. I suppose we can go and get some if we wanted to. Let's, let's do it. Just because we can. Okay, this this is bad. Apparently I can't move. Ah, fucking kidding me. Ah. <laughs> I'm just you know, just hanging around, not being able to do anything. So 
really, really, really annoying. Sure, what's uh, what the issue is here? Clearly, EVA is balked at the moment. Come on, just get back to the ship. That'd be nice. Far out, man. And stuff like this, it's really fucking annoying. Like, I, I'd much rather shit like this be fixed than have the ships at such a high polish. But, you know, again, it's an alpha and bugs happen and all that kind of stuff. But, look, the ship's just there. Just let me get back. Uh, it's not a happening thing. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to kill myself and claim the ship and do it again. Right. Let's do that again, shall we? We're going to claim on the cutlass, I assume. I don't know. Yeah, claim. <sighs> Bugger. At least it doesn't cost any money at the moment. Um. Let's just take the freelancer. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Yeah, hopefully. Thanks. Don't worry, folks. We'll get to Levski eventually. Maybe. Perhaps. The freelancer intact. Oh yeah, it's got doors. That's a that's a good start. Very good start. Excellent. So note to self, no more EVA today. Clearly there's some issues. Hello. How can MIS help you today? Oh, you can help me by taking off without any problems, please. Thank you. Oh, lag, lag, lag. Out there. Okie dokie. So far, so good. Now. Travel engaged. Oh, the 
motherfucking space trucking. Yeah. I like the fruit dancer. It's a cool ship. Oh, we're here already. This is good. No interdiction either. Quantum travel complete. Lovely. Very cool. Another player down there. Who are you? Another Freo. No, we don't want to hurt him. Hopefully he doesn't take that as a hostile action. <laughs> So Levski, as I think I've said it before in uh, one of the other videos, is quite a cool place. Um, mining sort of facility that's been built into this, the surface of this asteroid slash moon. Can't remember what it is. But um, the approach and the hangar bays and stuff, very cool. Really well done. So you, there is also uh, a garage spawn pads if you like that where you can spawn ground vehicles in the Levski um, up on the surface so you can drive around and have a look at all of the things that the surface has to offer which is not much at the moment apart from exploration uh, yeah so that's pretty cool and Levski is another one of those landing pads where you have to request access because you've got to um, open up the landing bay to go inside and same sort of deal if you don't request it uh, and do land you'll get a wanted level or criminal stat or crime stat whatever you want to call it Yeah. 28k's out. The approach to Levski is quite cool too. You can see all the sort of the landing, uh, landing, the mining, uh, mining gear, mining equipment. Similar in feel to sort of Grim Hex, but. Uh, To see that shortly. Let's just fix that as well. Looking forward to having mining in the game, get the prospector out and, you know, engage in some rock jumping. From what the devs have said about mining so far, it sounds like it's going to be a really interesting and fun profession. Alright, here we are coming up on Levski. Big hole in the ground. Landing permission. Please proceed to assign land landing. Okay, just assign it to there it is, opening up. Uh oh, that's too open. Oh, it's not the one I was going for. God damn it. 
Oh, there you go. See, always pay attention. Oops, a little bit off course. That should be about right. Now you can, as I've mentioned before, use the auto landing um, once you're in the vicinity of that green reticle, but I like to try and do it myself wherever I can. That's the more fun of spectacular crashes. <laughs> the nose up a bit, and down we go. <laughs> Ugh, a bit of a hard landing there. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Sideways. Oh, oh shit. Like I said, it's a bit of fun. Um, no, I'm not launching. Turn off. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, did we break anything? No. Well, considering. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> Too funny. Alright, let's get out of here. So, we've made it. Let's go through the back door. Come on, what are you doing? I think I've mentioned it before as well, sometimes at Levski the uh, elevators bug out, so you can get into your hangar like that, but when it comes time to get up the elevator, they don't work, and you're stuck. So you have to sort of take off and come again, or uh, reload one of the two. Hopefully they're working today. So like I said, the, it's very industrial grim hexy kind of feel here, kind of run down mining facility type of feel. The Grand Bazaar is very cool too, which is where we're headed now. He's struggling with that box. So this is the customs area. I imagine in the full release there'll be some sort of interaction with the guys in here, which should be interesting. Uh, maybe check if you're wanted level or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. So over here we've got the ship uh, terminals for trading and deliveries. So you can deliver um, quests to this guy over here. And then these terminals here, same in all this are. And you can purchase commodities and everything with it, choose your ship and off you go. Um, go. Don't have all day. Yeah, so that's that's that. Off that way you've got uh, the, the habitation area with beds and whatnot. So if you do log out here you'll spawn up in that area there. And then you've got the lift here to the Grand Bazaar. That maintenance guy down there doesn't do anything at the moment. I'm wondering if you'll be able to maybe refuel repair in a later patch or something like that, similar to Cryastro. Not really sure. Guess we'll see. So you can actually fly down into the crater here and look through the window and all that kind of jazz. I haven't done it myself, but I've seen videos of it. Okay. You 
here we are. Welcome to the Grand Bata. You can go left or right, it doesn't matter, it brings you out to the same spot. Looks like a bit of a, you know, OHS nightmare in here. Anyway. Alright, so, we've got the hospital over here, which is not uh, open yet or not in game. Hopefully. That'll be part of when they bring in the medical gameplay and, you know, the Cutlass Red and all that kind of stuff. Got Dumper's Depot. In here, where we can buy some ship parts. Similar to Olisar. There's a couple of different ones here that are available. So this uh, this one has larger parts out the back here. Whatever that was. Yeah, so there, there's bigger, larger part size one parts. Uh, for your bigger ships here. Size two parts, that's it. So they're all available to look at. At your leisure. Initiating been... ship storage procedure. For your oh, safety, thanks. please vacate the area. Thank yeah. you for your cooperation. Yeah, no, thank you. Yes, yeah, so I've been working on a database cataloging all of the things that are currently for sale in the game for your ships and what their stats and stuff are. Um, once I finish that off, I'll make that available freely for people to look at so you can compare the stats of what your default ship loadout comes with and, uh, you know, what's uh, you can buy in the shops that might be better. We'll have a look down there in a sec and then show you consensus objects, which is weapons. So in here we have. G'day, mate. Hi. Thanks for coming in. No, oh, thank you. So we've got our. Um, Railgun, SMG, and I mentioned in the other video that I usually buy my weapons from here because there is some cool uh, different camos on the weapons that aren't available anywhere else yet. So you can see the green camo on the SMG there. Um, I imagine that's going to be a shooting range at some point, which will be very cool. But yeah on the sniper rifle there so I usually pick up them just because they're different uh, no difference in performance it's purely cosmetic just something I like uh, but yeah that's the the weapons and ammo shop and now we'll go down to the barter I think I fell down the stairs then. Hi right, guys. So over here we have Miles Eckhart, who's not going to know who I am because I haven't. You looking for somebody? Yeah, buddy, not you. But, uh, once you get enough reputation, he'll. You looking for somebody? Send you a com link request to come and meet him, and he'll give you some stuff to do. Uh, there's too much else of note in here at the moment. And I haven't actually been out the back door, so... Oh, it's right So this is like a little back room. Cool. Yeah, so the, the jury's still out on what the exact requirements are to get enough rep to for Miles to contact you. Some people say it's a, a couple of different missions. Some people say it's one in particular. Um... Once that's confirmed, we might have a look at it in the next patch and see if we can get up to the point where he wants us to uh, do things for him. That'd be cool. And 3.1 isn't too far away now, so everything will be reset when that's released, so it's not really worth trying to do it right now. A little bit of lag there on the steps. I'll try and look a bit slower. 
So here we have the Grand Abata. You can buy some cool uh, helmets with lights on them. Similar clothing, well not, you know, you got the duster and everything that you can get in Grimhex. There's also a few other places that aren't open for business yet, but just sort of flavor. So you got this guy selling posters and hey wingman, legend. This guy doesn't really sell anything yet, but I imagine hopefully at some point you'll be able to buy these for your hangar or player areas. Like some, some of these posters are already available as hangar flare. This guy sells fish tanks. Uh, anyone that has been a sus subscriber might already have a fish tank, or you can buy it a couple of different ones from the store with fish and whatnot. Purely cosmetic again, nothing too exciting apart from the fact you can sit there and watch the fish, maybe de stress a bit. What's this guy sell? Stuff. Stuff and things, buddy. Ah, uh, you're like the newspaper guy. Okay. Nice. We'll go... Yeah, we'll go in Cordy's. There's weapons too, I think. Weapons and armor. That's right. No, do it, Grax. The big shield there. Probably a bit of an indicator. There you go. So you got the dust up. Again, with a different kind of shading. Odyssey a Spacesuit Multi. It's the standard one. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the, the Venture Core. A lot of people are liking this one lately. Uh, I like the helmet, just because of where the, um, where the lights are. I usually get a bit more of the... Well, you guys have... See my armor already. Um, so I've got the Odyssey helmet with the medium armor. How are you doing? That's pretty much everything we got. Well, thank you. That's pretty much everything he's got. Band old target on all. So yeah, another different armor shop there similar ones that are available in other places just different shades and then we got the rest of the bazaar over here green grocer because nobody makes friends with salad that's why he looks sad this guy looks like a junk shop cool and then we got a little bar around the corner here. G'day. No, can't take that. Noodle cart. Yeah, so that's about it for shopping here. So lots of potential for gameplay. Already looks really cool. I, I really like this area. It's um, really good fun. And it'll be great once you've got other players running around here. There's a bit of a hub area, you know, quests and NPCs, interaction, all that kind of jazz. You can really, well I can really see the potential. Some of the haters may not, but you know, that's kind of what Star Citizen's all about. So yeah. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to give that like button an uppercut. Tell your friends, tell your mum. Subscribe to the channel. And leave any questions or comments in the area below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.